Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you the Xbox One X working on a Sony Watchman Pocket TV. This one is from 1986, so you're looking at technology now which is 32 years old. And believe it or not, in this small form factor here, it is actually a CRT TV, but it's a flat one. So it's based down here and it's firing up in this direction and that's the reason why the screen is at a slight angle. You can just see it's like curved up at an angle like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a bit of a Forza Motorsport 7 and then I'm going to show you the setup and how I managed to get this to work. So let me just zoom in now and show you a little bit of the menu and then the game working. So you can see now this is what the Xbox menu looks like on a Pocket TV. Right, let's show you a bit of Forza 7. Now obviously it's more challenging playing on a screen so small, but you can still see that it is possible. Right, let's just change the view. Right, okay, let's uh, show you the setup on how I got this to work. So here on top we have the Xbox One X. Now out of this one we have the HDMI cable which you normally have to feed your TV. Now remember this is digital so we need to convert it to analog so that the Sony Watchman can actually recognize the signal. So we've plugged it into a HDMI to AV converter which converts it from digital to analog and it goes on to a composite connection which is the yellow, white and red. Also I need to supply this with power, so I've just used the USB port on the back of the Xbox One X to power this. From here, it converts it to analog. Now we need to change it from analog to analog RF so that this can recognize it. So it's going in as composite, and then the VCR here will convert it to RF. You can also buy composite to RF converters on places like Amazon and eBay again. Now if you have a look on the back of the video, then most of them will have an RF out, which is this bottom one here. So in theory, we could just run a cable from here straight into the external aerial on top of the Sony Watchman, and then we would have a perfect picture. But it's not going to be wireless, and I want it to be wireless because it's a pocket TV. So what we have to do is we have to amplify this signal here. So I've just used a very cheap, simple booster here, which plugs into it, and then I've plugged that into an aerial here. So what's happening is the weak RF signal is coming out of here, it's getting boosted and then it's getting distributed out from this aerial here so then that the Sony Watchman can actually pick it up via the aerial here. So we just need to put up the aerial, turn it on and then we need to tune it in to the right frequency. So we've got a little dial here for the tuner and we're just going to keep moving this around until we get to the correct frequency. There we go, here. And just give it a bit of fine tuning and now you can see that we have the Xbox menu there and now when we move around the place you will see that it's moving around. Now when you're looking at it with your own eyes it looks a lot better because when you're looking at it through a video camera a lot of the time you have these bands that move up and down and flickers so for example you can see now that it's dark at the top here but it's not actually dark in real life that's just cause when you actually record it through the camera. Now with this setup here you've got to be a little bit careful because depending on how strong you amplify the signal it could be illegal because it's the same as pirate TV. In this instance here the signal's only working really in this room. Once I leave this room or go a little bit further it starts to break out. But if you were to amplify the signal again so put it through another booster then in theory your neighbours could start to pick it up and then if they were which they're not going to but if they were to tune in on the analog signal then they could actually pick up what you're playing on the pocket tv here on your xbox or whatever you've got plugged into it so there you go that's how you get the xbox one x working on 
a Pocket TV from the 1980s. So please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.